Okay, hello there everybody. This is Tombakazi007, and we are going to be starting Sekiro Shadows Die Twice on this channel. Now I know the last playthrough wasn't exactly popular by any means necessary, and I highly doubt this one will be either. But the big difference between the last one and this one is the last one was a stream of a very long RPG-like game. This will be broken up videos of an RPG like Souls game. <laughs> so I'm going to see which one I like better through this process. If I like streaming better, then I might just go back to streaming. However, if I really like breaking it up into parts and doing little edits here and there, then I'll probably do it this way. Also, I feel like doing it in the edited style will be a lot better for viewing purposes in the fact that the stream I can't edit anything. If I mess up, I mess up and that's it. But if I do it in video, like, segments, tidbits, whatever you want to call them, it'll be a lot easier for me to get rid of the garbage. Because <laughs> let's face it, in this game, I'm going to die a lot. I have beaten it, I've gotten, you know, the good, good, quote-unquote, good, good ending. I'm not gonna spoil anything, I'm gonna try and get the good, good ending again. Or maybe I won't, you know, depending on how I'm feeling about playing through this game again. If I get mad angy, then maybe I'll just, you know, go for the normal. But, I'm going to try for the good, good. We'll see how this goes. But, as of right now, I am done talking. Let's get into the game. I might need to adjust some sound issues later on, you might not be able to hear me, I don't know. It's another good thing about doing it in video segments. If I complete this and then the video you can't hear me at all, then it's like, well, okay. <laughs> Time to restart, you know? So, new game. Not gonna be talking during the cutscenes, it is in Japanese, got subtitles and everything. So don't worry about that. But I do want to see how the sound works out. I already had this on my channel. Let's go through it. <laughs>殺すら
今日からお前のあるか命を賭して守るたとえ奪われるとも必ず取り戻すのだよいなら狼よ Okay, <laughs> so we already saw that cutscene before, and there's not going to be that many throughout this game. The ones that are, I'm not going to talk through the first time they happen, but most likely I'll run into a boss or an enemy or something and die and have to rewatch it, and then I'll just skip right through it. <laughs> Because screw that, screw watching all of that and just sitting here. <laughs> アシナの国は斜陽にあり狼の忍びは全てを失っていた育ての義父も守るべき主も忍びよ目覚めてくださいあなたの主のため Alright, and that officially ends everything that we've seen about Sekiro on this channel. Ornamental letter. Kuro's Wolf. Your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well, and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent. Stay vigilant. I, I forget if there's anything this way, so I wanted to go back and check it out. Oh! Let's head the actual way we're supposed to go. Jump. Wall jump. See? Easy. Ashina Reservoir. There's also a lot more movement in this game, as you'll see as we really get into it. Toggle. Wall hug. Shimmy. It's also a very huge stealth element in this game, which I'm sure people have already played this game to Ooh, stealth. ここにおる Be okay, I'll be back to kill you later. But yeah, this game's been out for a while, just like the last game that I did, so I'm not expecting it to be popular or anything. Just gonna have fun playing it, because honestly, this game, compared to the last game that I played, mm, mwah, solid 10 out of 10. Easy. <laughs> Lord Genichiro, you say. But that is another feature of this game that I kind of like. You can eavesdrop, eavesdrop, and you can gain a little bit more information about the story and exactly what's going on. 
Because right now, it's like, dear god, nothing makes sense. And later on, trust me, it still probably won't. <laughs> but it's a lot more straightforward than anything that From Software has really put out. It's still lore-driven and expects you to understand some things on your own and swallow a lot. But it, it's a lot better at actually telling you a story. Yeah. Alright, inside time. Before I do that... Okay, now it's inside time. お手を Kusabi Maru, a katana given by Kuro, the divine heir, an heirloom of the Harada family, a cadent branch descended from Ashina. Once that lost, it has found its way back into the hands of, of the wolf. The name Kusabi Maru beseeches. A shinobi's rule is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra the blade itself may manifest. Man, From Software knew what they were doing with this game when they were making it. They were like, weebs are gonna eat this up. <laughs> and they were right, I love it. Healing Gord. <laughs> so I was trying to move the camera to see if I could, like, go into the character model, but I wasn't able to, and it just looked like I was looking at the Divine Heir's butt. <laughs> I apologize. Gourd filled with vitality restoring medicine. Resting refills the gourd, made by an apprentice of the extraordinary doctor, Dogen. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal, medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret how it works. その後大丈夫はないか。その後とあの世のことを覚えておらぬのか。はい。いや、その橋下の抜け穴を見つけてきてほしい。見つけたらそうだな。足の羽笛で合図をくれるか。ほら、昔聞かせてくれたであろう。こう、ピーっとな。その音を頼りに、その他のもとへ行こう。Using quick items. So I'm not going to be reading every single item detail, because honestly, I can tell how that would get annoying. But like, I do want to read the important ones, or the ones that I find interesting. So, blah blah blah, Homeward Idol. It's like a Homeward Bone, but permanent. Healing Gourd. Wait, use Healing Gourd. No, 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 Quick Item Healing Gourd. There we go. Okay. Woo! 
I know there I know there's stuff up here. Pellet. So I am going to equip the pellet probably. I'm uh, I don't really use pellets that often. But they can save my life. Alright. Now it's really the test if if my sound is gonna work out. So posture and death blows. So what you want to do in this game is, instead of lowering health, you want to get rid of their stamina, in which you can just instantly kill them. Because that's what this game is really about. Okay. So, that guy's going to turn around. I know this already. Okay, maybe I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. No time to be a baby about it. He sees me. Oh, God. Let me kill. Ah. Uh. Alright, last time, that did not happen. What you just saw, that was a lie. Oh lord, I'm so bad at the games. Oh, help me. Ah, oh, never mind. You're dead! But as I was saying before, I was rudely and brutally murdered. <laughs> Is that this will actually test the sound quality to see if I upload this or not. Because the sword clangs and the roars of battle are... Ooh, deflection. Are pretty loud. So are deflections. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough. Deflecting an attack is another way to damage their posture. So yeah, you can mash L1, which I was trying to do there for a quick second, and it really won't work. You really need to time the attacks. And that way, you'll be able to insta-kill a lot of basic enemies like that. You can be like, ting, and then deflect. It's really easy. Once you get the hang of it, I act like I act like I'm a master of this game when I died instantaneously in the first part to the first couple of enemies. Oh god, shoot me. So I'm gonna say screw that noise right now and go kill this guy because he was He was talking crap about me behind my back. Saying I'm a coward. Would a coward stab you in the back, bro? I think not. So, oops. <laughs> I was gonna show you guys a little bit more of the mobility that you can do in this game. So, it's very free form with your movement. You can, like, go... Basically, if you see it, you can go there. That's kind of how this game operates. In terms of buildings, at least. In terms of, like, you know, that... Well, maybe you can get there later. You know what? Maybe... Maybe, maybe you really can get everywhere. That'd be interesting. Hello? Can I, like, jump and then... Ah! I messed it up! You're still dead! You're also dead! No. Nope. Thrust move. Kill move. You're next. No. Nope. Whew, honestly, that feels good. Like, <laughs> getting back into this game? Mm. Feels pretty good. Okay. Hello there. Leader Shigenori. Yamawachi. Ya Yamauchi. Whatever. So the counter slash. When you land a deflect, you can counter slash. Now this works on most enemies. Some enemies later on, even if you deflect, they'll still kick your butt. If you try and counter attack instantly. This guy though, shouldn't be too big of a problem for me. One. So you see what I meant when I said posture is really more important than health, or their stamina gauge. It's called posture in this game. But the stamina gauge really doesn't exist until you start getting hit or guarding. What you really want to do is be aggressive and deflect almost everything that you possibly can. Defense is kind of a no-no in this game. It's good, trust me. At times you'll really need it. But being aggressive in this game really does pay off, as long as you're able to do it and not get yourself brutally murdered. Got him! Easy. 
Now you see, if this was my first time playing, I probably would have died to that guy. I'm not that good. Let's see. It does not open from this side. So, I'm also wondering if you can... Because there are, in fact, bosses that you can just skip right past in this game. Where you'll, like, see them. Like, I wonder if you can, like, just see that guy and be like, nah. <laughs> and just, like, leave. Fistful of ass. That's what I'd be trying to get right now. Jump! Grab. Up. 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 Grab. Eavesdrop. Well, boys, I'm sorry to tell you, I'm heading there, and uh, if you're in my way, I'll kill you. Kill you in a heartbeat. Well, not me, but Wolf. If this was actually me, I'd, I'd be dead already. Right here, I'd be dead. I would I'd, like I'd hold on to this for two seconds, be like, my fingies tired, and fall off. Look at this dude. So, what I'm doing right now is kind of cheap. Because <laughs> you can just instantly kill them. But I hate those enemies with a burning passion. Anything that's small in this game is super annoying to me. Also, fall damage? Not that big of a concern. Okay, that that really was that good of a thing. Okay, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> I was gonna climb up and do it again. That's stupid and dumb and a waste of time. Let's go. I'm gonna inspect this, and then there's gonna be a cut. Alright, this is when uh, this game turns out. <laughs> I was gonna make a stupid joke. I, was gonna <laughs> I didn't know there was more cutscene. I was gonna be like, this is when this game turns into Resident Evil 2 and you have to escort the kid throughout the entire game. Uh, that's a lie, though. You know what? I'm gonna talk to him. See what he has to say. Right? まずは足の国を離れるか。あるいはどこかに身を隠すか。そなたはどう思う。魚医のままに。魚医か。そなたは変わらぬな。ほう。いや、懐かしいと思うでな。さあ、参ろう。so obviously there's a case of Wolf being distant with the air, but the air remembers him being much closer, which is kind of an important theme in this game. Ah, oh, oof. I'm just gonna shut up. Yeah, yeah, Miko. Ojue no bozen iraika. Kenichiro to no. Hatashiwa. Sumane.
Mmm, beautiful. I love the scenery here. Now this might look like, uh, you know, like a final boss, like something that you're not supposed to win. Wrong, you do have to win this fight. Oop. Oh, my gut. So I'm gonna be trying my best. I may not remember everything. Okay, so I obviously lied. <laughs> that fight is hard. It's not the final boss or anything. It is hard, though. <laughs> Especially to win it right off the bat, like, especially if it's your first time playing and you think it's, like, an actual boss fight or something like that. You can win it, and it will give you an alternate cutscene. I was gonna try and actually win it, but, like, as soon as he got the grab in, because I thought, honestly, he was gonna go for a sweep or something. So I was gonna try and jump it. It was a grab. Uh, as soon as I got hit by the grab, I decided not. <laughs> not really gonna try. So, the Shinobi Prosthetic. The artificial arm of a shinobi, passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms. Apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. So the shinobi prosthetic is a thing that a lot of people actually had a problem with in this game. Because they're like, oh, they didn't have prosthetics back in the day. What's up with games like Devil May Cry and Sekiro giving people prosthetic limbs? It's stupid. Why can't they just have their actual arms? And honestly, it's like, okay, okay, I get, I get your argument. I get your argument. I wasn't a big fan of the DMC Nero Rocket Arm when I first saw it. But then once the actual game came out, I loved it. Loved the crap out of it. In this game, I never thought it was a problem at all. I thought it was just dope. I was like, that's cool. Especially in a game from Farm Software when I knew like magic and like other crazy supernatural beings and you know samurai and dudes were gonna be in it and you know obviously the whole like dying thing and not dying thing. I knew it was gonna be really cool no matter what they did with it. I had my faith in them. So this? This arm? I have no problem with it. It's awesome. Especially gameplay wise as you'll see later on. Shinobi 
お前さんはお前さんで好きにしな。So this man is very mysterious. He's just a sculptor who needs to carve the Buddha, even though there's a lot. He's actually a really cool character. And if you notice, he's missing his left arm. Alright, so that's who we're gonna go see next. Is the person to the right of this temple. I'm gonna collect these though. Some pellets. So that was a lot of information to swallow at one time. The dragon's blood heritage being one of the most interesting ones. Cause that is what, believe it or not, this whole story is going to revolve around. And it'll become clearer and clearer as time goes on why exactly the divine heir's blood is so important. Sculptor's idol menu. These are literally bonfires. However, there's no, like, uh, one bonfire in particular that you have to physically go to all the time in order to upgrade your stuff. There, there are people that actually upgrade things for you, and then you can level up yourself at the bonfire. Except leveling up is very different in this game, as you'll see in the other parts to come. みんな顔だな。そこもと。なわ。うん。名乗られぬか。だが腕ある忍びと
Simple. You're dead, friend. I win. What? Now this man is a... He's something special. Number one, he's tall. Number two, he's handsome. Number three, his storyline is very interesting. そこ元の そこ元はこのような荒れ寺で何よ。So what you can do with Hanbei the Undying is you can actually use his body as basically a meat bag. You can just walk up to him and start swinging, or you can go into the training menu, and you'll actually find different things that you can do, such as evasion, deflection, attacking, and you can practice on him in case something's getting a bit tough or too hard for you. Okay, so honestly, I was thinking about ending the video here, but there's one more thing that I want to do. Because I rested at the bonfire, you'll notice... The bonfire. The, the sculptor's idol. You'll notice that there's somebody else here. エマと言います。猿お方に使える薬師です。猿お方とすみませんが、主の命にて明かせません。ただ、あなたを助けようと、そう仰せつかっています。信用しろとは言いません。薬水の氷炭。それは元々私が作り上げたものです。くすしとして助けとなりましょう。この氷炭お主が作ったというのか。はい。元は苦労様のためにあなたが譲り受けていたのですね。気づいているかもしれませんが。この氷炭の薬水はおのずと湧き出します。突き立とて少し休めばまた満ちるでしょう。くすしとしての助けとは氷炭の種をお持ちください。種だと。はい。薬水は氷炭の種より湧き出します。新たな種を加えれば薬水
and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I know not a lot has happened. There was hardly any fights, there was hardly anything going on really, it was just a lot of information being tossed at you. Which for a Soulsborne game is kind of different. But I do like it very much. Next time, there will be a lot more encounters, there will be a lot more fighting and a lot more exploring as the game really starts to pick up. I basically just got through the beginning, the little introduction that they give you. So next time, there will be a lot more content and a lot more to see. We'll be using sword techniques, the shinobi prosthetic, and a lot of free range motion. So I hope you're all ready for that. And thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Until then, you have a good, great, wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye now.